now we are into matrix mode. So matrices, we're going to uh, enter a matrix um, and we're going to go over some basic matrix calculations. So first thing to do is go into a matrix. So we're going to go into mode matrix, which is six. We're not really sure if we want to do A, B, or C quite yet. So we're just going to hit A, C, M, A, T to let us know we're in matrix mode. So we're going to start by entering a matrix. So the first thing we're going to do is example 35. We're going to enter the matrix of A equals 1, 6, and 3, 5 into a calculator, and B equals 4, 7, 2, and negative 6. So in order to get that into the calculator so we can start uh, performing some operations on it, we're going to say shift and 4 for matrix, as you can see in the yellow. And the first thing we want to do is select the dimensions. We want it for matrix A. So we're going to hit the number 1 again. And now it's what size should the matrix be? Uh, the one that we had listed up above, um, as we go back that direction, 2 by 2, which is number 5 right here. So we want to enter in 1, and then we're going to hit the equal sign. It's going to jump to the right this time. So then we're going to hit the number 6, hit equals. Now it jumps down here, 3 and 5. So now we've got matrix A entered in. So if we jump back down here, we've got matrix A entered. We're going to hit all clear because now we've got matrix A. Let's repeat it for matrix B. So if we go back up here, we've got matrix B, which is 4726. So we're going to say shift matrix. We want dimensions for matrix B, number 2. Again, 2 by 2. So in order to enter that in, we want 4. We're going to want 7. Again, hitting the equals after each one. 2 is next. Then negative 6. We hit our negative key. 6. We've got matrix B. So we hit AC. We've got our two matrices entered. Now it's time to do a little calculation. So we're going to go through four examples here. We're going to find three times matrix A, add the two matrices together. We'll multiply them together. We'll find the determinant of A. Also, as a bonus, we'll do letter E as well, which is the inverse of A. Um, now, just as a quick note, um, to recall a matrix, we're going to hit Shift-4 for matrix. And then we're going to select three or four for matrix A or matrix B. So in this case, let's clear back out here. So as you remember, letter, so example number A is going to be three times A. So in order to do that, we're going to say three times. Again, we want to recall matrix A, so shift four. Matrix A is number three. And say equal. And here's our answer, which is three. 18, 9, and 15. So, and just as a note, X key to multiply. So now let's clear out our screen and let's do example number B. I know B is not a number, but I said number already, so it's, it's kind of out there already. So we want to do A plus B. So, letter B. Let's recall matrix A. Shift matrix number three for matrix A plus shift matrix. We want matrix B which is number four and we say equals. We've got our answer 5, 13, 5 and negative 1. Letter C. We wanted A times B. So let's go back down here to letter C. Let's clear out our screen, and we're going to say shift matrix, matrix A, which is number 3, times shift matrix 
4 for matrix B. We say equals, so now we've got 16, negative 29, 22, and negative 9. So that's example, that's problem C. And now to problem D. We want the determinant of A. Again, we want a clearer screen. So let's scroll down here. Um, again, if you want to multiply matrices, the dimensions must match up. If they don't, it'll error out. I'm not going to show that to you now. It'll take a little more time than we need. For now, we're going to determine matrix A. So again, shift matrix, determine, which is number seven. And then we're going to shift matrix, recall matrix A, close the loop, determine matrix A, that's exactly what we want, equals negative 13. Our bonus problem, right here, the inverse of A. So we're going to go back, let's clear out our screen. Again, clearing it out, it's not going to clear out our matrices, as you are aware by now. So we're going to shift matrix, we're going to get our matrix A. We're going to find the inverse, which is right here, the inverse key, right below the mode. So we hit that guy, and we say, again, it's up here. We don't have to worry about it since we're hitting equal. And now we've got that guy, which is negative 5 thirteenths. We can click the arrows, 6 thirteenths down, negative 1 thirteenth and 3 thirteenths. I'll give you the fractional right there. I'll give you the decimal up here.